Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about copper plating. If you look at, this is what I did earlier, you might be able to see a copper sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's definitely copper on there. Um, so I have these toenail clippers that are dull. I clean them. Uh, so we're going to try and copper plate the end of these. So here's our solution, actually. I think it's a solution of copper sulfate. How I did this is I put baking soda in water for electrolyte, and then just ran it with this uh, copper tube in here, and it turned blue, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so now we just put this in here. It'll start to fizz. I don't know if you can see that here. I'll actually start to fizz there. You can see that. It'll fizz here and here. And it should be already a little bit coppery. Barely. You won't be able to see it on camera. Okay, so come back to you when this is finished. So I've changed camera angle a bit. Uh, this is after I've Plated it. Looks pretty good. That probably will spark. Watch this. Yep. Probably shouldn't be doing this. There's probably hydrogen in the air, but uh, it wouldn't be that much hydrogen produced by this. Uh, I probably it'd be better to do it outside, but. It's dark and cold out, so I'm just doing it in here. So now if I can get these clippers off this wire, I'm going to go clean them up back then. So uh, to polish these up, it's pretty simple. I just run some water. Put my hands on in the way. Now I just take this scotch bright pad soaked in water and just do this. I don't know, this isn't very, this is the, the copper doesn't sticking very well. Okay, I'm back. I replated it. Uh, so I'm going to run this. We're just going to lightly touch it up. Don't push on this too hard and like, it'll, it'll definitely come off. Because it's not that thick unless you run it for like an hour. But I just run it for like 10 minutes. The last one I didn't run very long, so it just came right off. And it has to be clean and, like, scuffed up. That's why it didn't work the last time. It just came right off because it wasn't clean. You have to use this pad. See? The areas that aren't clean just won't stick to. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Wasn't clean. Wouldn't stick to it. I had it like this when I was polishing it. Nope. That part will get worn out anyway. Okay. And there it is. Finished. Copper plated. Looks pretty good. Now I'm actually going to take this uh, a Kleenex with um, a little bit of toothpaste here, put that on here. Now the toothpaste uh, contains a fine, really fine abrasive, so it's good for polishing things. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This is the final product after polishing for about a minute. I hope you can see this on camera how coppery it looks. You can see the line there, coppery. So yeah. Hey guys, uh, it's pretty simple to do that plating thing. I don't have anything that I plated, but all you do is you put um, baking soda in uh, water, stir it up till it dissolves. And then uh, put a copper pipe or like anything copper, like sheet metal. I don't know, pennies might work. 
they just won't last as long because the copper will all get rid of oh. copper will all uh, come off of them and then they'll just be uh, silver pennies but those might work in circulation I have never tried I might try that that might be the next video um but yeah it's pretty simple uh, doesn't take very long uh, I'm talking to you it's probably myself in Mr. Kaiser's class tomorrow so if I'm watching this uh, in Mr. Kaiser's class uh, um, hey me from tomorrow uh, okay I'm just I'm just confusing myself now